In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can use or create broadcast list in your WhatsApp account. So this is applicable for both normal WhatsApp account and also your business account. And it's very important if you want to broadcast to a limited amount of people. You can send a same message to everyone without individually going one by one to send. Ah, challenging. So for this to work, you have to make sure that everyone that you want to broadcast to have your contact details safe at their address book. If it's not safe, it won't be sent. And the same thing as well that there's a limitation for this. You have to be very careful because this is not API. There's a limit on how many you can send and sometimes you can get blocked if you send too many times. But you can create multiple broadcast lists with a limit of 256 contacts per broadcast. So this is quite a cool feature and maybe you can test it out. Before I begin, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe to this channel so they can get more tips like this. Oh, by the way, another thing to take note is that this is not applicable in your computer. So you can only do it with your phone. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump straight into my phone and let me show you how you can use broadcast or create broadcast list to send broadcast to your list. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, go inside your WhatsApp account. So this can be done in your WhatsApp business or your normal WhatsApp account. Both also can do broadcast. Then you go on the three dots on top, click on new broadcast. So you can add the numbers. Let me just add them quickly. Okay, so you need to add at least two. Then you click on save and then there will be a broadcast list with three recipients. So for this data, I'm going to show you how it will look like when I broadcast the message to these three people. So next thing you want to do is you want to maybe rename the broadcast so that you know who is the who. Click on the three dot on top, click on the broadcast list info. You can see there's an info here. You can even change this untitled list here. Click on the three dots, change broadcast list name. Click on yes and then you can click OK and it's there. Or you can click on the three dots so you can label broadcast list as well if you're using business. Go back. Now you go out, you should be able to see this this thing in the middle called the broadcast. It will have a different sign here. It shows like this. This is the broadcast list. To delete is actually very easy. Just click on it, click on the three dots, click on the broadcast list info, and then just delete broadcast list. If you want to include a new broadcast, just click on three dots, click on new broadcast, and you can create another separate broadcast list. So one broadcast can only send 256. Of course, you cannot send a lot because this is broadcast list is supposed to be only for small amount of contact list if it's too many you might get your whatsapp banned so just be careful on that next i'm going to send a message and i'm going to show you how it will look like after you send the message now you are at the broadcast so i'm going to send a broadcast to these three recipients let me just type something okay and then just click send then you can see that it is like just sent to one right but actually when you go to individual one you can see that it is actually sent to all three of them so for example like i go to this person now you can see the message they won't be able to see it but you can you can see that there's this little icon uh, yeah this shows that it is, it is broadcast so basically this broadcast once you send is sent to them individually but for me in that i can see that i send to everyone but to check their response you have to check individual recipients now how do i remove people from this broadcast so you just have to click on the three dots go to broadcast this info you can click edit recipients and then you can just delete them for example all right okay or you can just delete the broadcast list here as i mentioned you can even add same thing just click edit recipients and add them so yeah so that's it that's how you can send broadcast using whatsapp i hope that you find this useful if you're not subscribed to this channel yet subscribe to this channel and i'll see you next time